గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ అండి సో హియర్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ ఫర్ పవర్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్స్ క్లాస్ వన్ సో వట్ ఆర్ ద ప్రీ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఫర్ పవర్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్స్ సో హియర్ ప్రీ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఆర్ అన్లాక్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్స్ అండ్ డిజిటల్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్స్ అన్లాక్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్స్ మీన్స్ హ్యూమెన్ హ్యావ్ స్టడీ బిఏడి అండ్ ఆంప్లిఫైర్స్ అండ్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్స్ అండ్ ఆసిలేటర్స్ ఎక్సెట్రా ఎక్సెట్రా అండ్ డిజిటల్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్స్ మీన్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ స్టడీడ్ అబౌట్ క్లాక్స్ అండ్ నాన్ గేట్ అండ్ నార్ గేట్ ఎక్సెట్రా ఎక్సెట్రా యూ హ్యావ్ స్టడీ ఆల్ దోస్ ఆర్ ది ప్రీ రిక్వెస్ ఫర్ ది సిస్టమ్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ వట్ ఈస్ ద కోర్స్ ఆబ్జెక్టివ్ ఈస్ వై షుడ్ బి గో ఫర్ దిస్ పవర్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్స్ మీన్స్ కమింగ్ టు పవర్ సిస్టమ్ అప్లికేషన్స్ సపోజ్ ఇఫ్ యూ గో ఫర్ జనరేషన్ ఓకే ఇఫ్ యూ గో ఫర్ జనరేషన్ సపోజ్ ఇఫ్ యూ ఆర్ జనరేటింగ్ 100 kilowatt power okay if you are generating 100 kilowatt power from coal then ultimately at the load what will be the output means only it will be 15 to 20 percentage okay 15 to 20 percentage we will get at the load side that means here clearly there will be the 5 to 5 is to 1 okay there will be a 5 is to 1 ratio ratio of last will be there at the lower side that means if we save okay if we save the wastage okay if we save the wastage then automatically we can increase the efficiency so that's why to increase the efficiency and by for saving this power electronic device will be used that is the case for machines and next coming to machines okay in the case of the in the case of the machines also suppose one machine is running at a speed of 1000 rpm okay one machine is running at a speed of 1000 rpm that means in general e is equal to 5 z n p divided by 60 a that means e is directly proportional to the n in order to reduce the speed to the 500 rpm okay in order to reduce the speed to the 500 rpm then what you need to do here you need to do you need to reduce your voltage also that means so in order to reduce this one what you required you required to insert one additional resistance or external okay you need to insert one additional resistance or external in your circuit so that's why you can get automatically your speed but what about the losses losses will be increases losses will be increased so that efficiency will be reduced so in order to avoid all these things we will use our power electronic devices this is the one of the reason next coming to transformer in the case of the transformer also that means whatever may be the iron losses is equal to copper losses okay in order to do this one we will use power electronic devices by means of this power electronic devices we will change or we will systematically accord uh, systematically do the ratio that systematically maintain the ratio of v by f that means as voltage is changing uh, frequency will be also changed by means of this one by means of pe devices we can control this v by f ratio this is the application in case of transform simple coming to fan regulator also okay coming to fan regulator also to reduce the speed of this one okay to reduce the speed of the fan we need to add one external resistor okay we need to add one external resistor but in the case of the power electronics that means in general we are seeing in our homes at now we are using 
triac okay we are using triac for triac as a triac based regulator okay we are using triac based regulator we are using triac based regulator we are using that means by replacing uh, this one by this triac based regulator by means of this power electronics so that's why we need to go for this power electronics that means this by means of this power electronic device we won't get any rotational losses we can get high efficiency and of course heat will be less and compact in size course objective is nothing but develop is to develop a suitable power converter so here what is mean by converter so here there may be a two types of the converter converters is nothing but there may be one type is rectifier which is nothing but which converts ac to dc and next inverter okay inverter is equal to which converts dc to ac okay which converts dc to dc in general by combining these two properties we can call the converter of course if you go in depth there may be a conversion of the dc to dc is there and of course ac to ac also there so by combining all the things we can call those devices are power converters and next coming to the course outcomes course outcomes difference between the signal level and the power level devices we you will know and the control rectifier circuits operation of dc to dc choppers and voltage source inverter you will come to know that means signal level and power level so difference between the signal level and power level means is a low level and it is a high level and a control rectifier circuit okay control rectifier circuits are nothing but all the what may be the rectified devices and next dc to dc uh, just now we have uh, discussed this one dc to dc and next voltage source inverter in addition to this one voltage source inverter there may be of current to source inverter also will be there okay current source inverter also will be there before going to all things what is mean by hmm, next power switching device the first chapter is power switching devices in this one concept of the power electronics concept of the power electronics is nothing but here what is mean by first of all power electronic power electronics can be defined as is a subject that deals with the equipment okay that deals with the apparatus or equipment which is working on the principle of electronics okay which is working on the principle of electronics but uh, rated which is working on the principle of electronics but rated at rated at power level okay rated at power level please remember that once again i am repeating it is a subject which deals with the working on the it which deals with the equipment which is working on the principle of electronics but rated at power level that is a, that is nothing but rather than signal level but that is nothing but our power electronics for example semiconductor switches such as thyristors gtos can be taken as uh, working on the principle of the electronics but the name power has been added means uh, there may be half power ratings okay there may be a power rating so that's why power rating will be there why should we develop this power converter means just simply for efficient control or conversion of the power in driving applications efficient efficient control efficient control and or conversion of power okay efficient control or conversion of power in drive applications okay drive applications and next one more thing for the efficient transmission efficient transmission and utilization of power in power system applications okay power system application so coming to first one okay coming to first one here drive applications before going to that one what is mean by drive
so here what is mean by drive means here in general drive which is consisting of the three components okay drive which is consisting of the three components which is nothing but electric motor okay electric motor and one transmitting device and one transmitting device and next working machine okay and next working machine all these three are the important components of the drive system So in simple okay if we go for in simple definition electric motor okay electric motor electric motor together with electric to motor together with control equipment electric motor together with control equipment and energy transmitting device electric motor together with controlling equipment and energy transmitting device called electric drive. What are the example? Example for drive is one is ceiling fan. Okay, one is a ceiling fan motor, ceiling fan motor with a regulator. Okay, ceiling fan motor with a regulator is example for drive. So here it is the drive. What do you mean by drive? Electric electric motor with control equipment and energy transmitting device is called electric drive. And of course, if you go for electric drive system, what do you mean by drive system? electric drive together with okay electric drive together with its working machine electric drive together with its working machine working machine can be called as electric drive system so what is the example for this one means ceiling fan motor with regulator and blades okay and blades that means here you need to remember two definitions the first definition is electric drive electric drive means simply motor together with control equipment plus energy transmitting device that is the electric drive electric drive system means this electric drive plus okay this electric drive plus working machine this electric drive plus working machine can be called as electric drive system so what are the examples example means for the drive ceiling fan with a regulator for the drive ceiling fan with a regulator can be taken as example for drive for the drive system ceiling fan with a regulator plus blades also okay plus blades also can be taken as our electric drive system example and next one more thing one more example if you consider a motor with a conveyor belt okay a motor with a conveyor belt but there will be no material okay but will, there will be no material the example second example here are the for the drive system motor with a conveyor belt motor with a conveyor belt with material okay if there is a material then it can be considered as the electric drive system and next third one what is the third example is nothing but food mixer if you consider food mixer with food mixer without food okay food mixer without food food mixer without food then it can be taken as a example for the drive system if you consider food with food electric food mixer with food okay food mixer with food then it can be taken as the example for the drive system and of course one more thing we uh, the objective is one more objective what is the objective of this one simply in order to uh, in order to con in order to generate and in order to control power system applications conversion of the power in the power system applications also so that's why here the power system examples are hvdc you can take hvdc and excitation systems hvdc and excitation systems and var compensation and next static circuit breakers static circuit breakers 
and boiler feed pumps also okay examples are boiler feed pumps also and of course supplementary energy systems which are nothing but solar and wind okay solar and wind hvdc excitation var static systems and boiler feed pumps and the solar and wind all these examples can be considered as power system applications that is the course objectives coming to applications here the applications are included aerospace commercial and industrial residential telecommunication transportation utility systems so first one is aerospace first one is aerospace and the second one is commercial third one is industrial so coming to aerospace in this aerospace the examples are space shuttle power supplies and satellite power supplies and aircraft power system we will use and in commercial applications advertising heating air conditioning and central refrigeration elevators light dimmers and flashes also will use and flashes also will use and industrial industrial means in general rolling mills and textile mills and excavators and cement mills and welding blowers fans pumps compressors we will use next coming to next one is residential applications fifth one telecommunication applications sixth one transportation applications so fifth one residential applications in the case of the residential applications fans washing machine sewing machines vacuum cleaners food mixers and dryers and air conditioning and cooking we will use the power tronics and in case of the telecommunication battery charges and in case of the power supplies we will use and coming to transportation in the case of the transportation here also battery charges and traction control of electric vehicles and electric locomotives trolley buses subways we will use last one is utility systems in the case of the utility system means already we have discussed with the power system applications which are nothing but hvdc excitation systems var compensation static circuit breakers and fans and boiler feed pumps supplementary energy systems like solar and wind in all these applications we will use the power electronics